So good morning, everybody, and another wonderful day to celebrate life and to live life fully and to have every experience as an opportunity to become a better version of ourselves. So as you know, the purpose uh, need not be repeated to you because I can see all the old faces here. So when new people join, we'll tell them what this is all about, okay? Or when somebody is watching the recordings, they will know for sure what this is all about. This is about shifting out from the default mode into the creative mode. It is to be a possibility seeker than a complainer. It is to orient ourselves to always see possibility in every situation. Okay, it is to learn that the purpose of relationships is to support each other, to empower each other, to make each other stronger. So here we are, 14 people and maybe 30 people later today. And our endeavor is that we will make each other more powerful. We will empower each other and we will support each other. That's the purpose of our relationship too, right? So spread the word among all your relatives and friends, because when you bring them here, you are helping to empower them, you are supporting them, and you are making them more powerful versions of themselves. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. And we are working with you mentally, physically, and energetically. All right. So yesterday, we did a session on judgment, and we did some clearings with you. And you're going to start seeing the effect of that in your life soon enough. But you know what will happen is, when you stop judging, you are accessing more of the possibilities that are there in the awareness. You're going to be getting into a greater awareness. So as a gift to you guys, I'm going to do another clearing this morning. Yay. You're supposed to celebrate by saying yay. Yay. <laughs> so listen carefully. And when I ask a question, you will say yes. Obviously, you'll say yes if you want to say yes. You don't have to say it. All right, so here's the clearing. What energy, space, consciousness, choice, magic, miracles, mysteries, and possibilities can you and your body be to be an invitation to all energies and all awareness for all eternity? Everything that doesn't allow that times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So one more time, what energy, space, consciousness, choice, magic, miracles, mysteries and possibilities can you and your body be to be an invitation to all energies and all awareness for all eternity? Everything that doesn't allow that, times a godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes? Yes. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So let's do it one more time so that it sinks in. What energy, space, consciousness, choice, magic, miracles, mysteries and possibilities can you and your body be? To be an invitation to all energies and all awareness for all eternity, everything that doesn't allow that, Times of Godzillion, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Yes. yes. Right yes. and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shots, boys and beyond. So ladies and gentlemen, let us open the doors to awareness. And let us remember what we did yesterday, that whenever we judge, we limit awareness. Okay. The whole idea is to increase our awareness. When the awareness increases, we see more possibilities. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. Now, one of the things that might limit your awareness is that we as humanoids, we are picking up the thoughts, feelings, emotions of thousands and thousands of people who are, who are there in and around us. Now, have you noticed that when you go to a hill station and there are you are in a place alone in a remote hills, there's a totally different space over there. There is a totally different silence over there. It's not only the noise that you are hearing in a civil, you know, when you are there in a city, 
it's also that the millions and millions of people who are there, you're picking up their thoughts and their feelings and their emotions and their energies, all right? And what happens is that you might have noticed that for sometimes for no reason, you start feeling heavy. Sometimes for no reason, you're starting to feel some irritation or anger or sadness or whatever, yeah? We are perceiving the wrongness of other people. We are beginning, we are, you know, perceiving wherever they believe that they are wrong. Okay? How much of your life really, if you look at your life, how much of this life that we really believe that this sense of heaviness and wrongness that we are perceiving is our own? Maybe it's not our own. We are just picking it up. Right? Quite, quite. Now, the you that is you is light. Okay? We are light beings. But we are picking up all the stuff from other people so we feel heavy. Yeah? So you feel that this is me, but actually it isn't you. No? So we, our stomach starts churning, you feel wrong. Now when all this COVID was happening and, and there was so much fear all around, okay? So one, we were picking it up from the news and everything, but we were energetically also picking up all the fear and doom and gloom and all that that was there, right? So whenever you feel this kind of negativity, it's a good time to ask a question. Okay. Now what I'm introducing you to just now is one of the very, very powerful tools that you will learn when you come for the Access Bards program. Okay. And this is called, who does it belong to? So whenever you're feeling heavy like this, maybe it's not your own. Maybe you're just picking it up from someone. And this is a good time to ask this question to yourself. Who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? Is it mine or somebody else's? Now, if all of a sudden you get lighter by asking that question, you know, so I often do this. Who does this belong to? Who does it belong to? Who does it belong to? Is it mine or somebody else's? And then I feel light. And when I feel light, I know that it's not mine. It belongs to somebody else. So when you feel that, you just say, all right, I send it back to the sender with consciousness attached. Return to sender with consciousness attached. Remember, when you ask this question to yourself and when you feel lighter, you know that it's not yours. So you send it back to return it to the sender with consciousness attached. Got it? Now remember one thing. You cannot handle a problem or change a thought or a feeling or an emotion which is not yours, okay? If it doesn't belong to you, how will you handle it, right? But you can do this thing which is so easy, isn't it? You can simply give it back to whoever is sending it out. So it's like some broadcasting station is broadcasting sad songs silently and you're picking it up in your head and you're feeling sad. But it doesn't belong to you. So all you have to do is send it back. So please understand one thing, more than 98% of your feelings, emotions, and thoughts, they don't belong to you. They're somebody else's. Now it feels like you because you're picking it up with your awareness. So can you imagine an awareness being bombarded by so many thoughts, feelings, and emotions of others? How much noise is there, right? Nobody has taught you to tell the difference between which one, which awareness is yours and which one you're picking up from somebody else. Interesting, isn't it? Now, there can be two kinds of things going on with you. One that you're picking up from someone, okay, which doesn't belong to you. So when you ask this question, what's the question you'll ask? Who does this belong to? Is it mine or is it someone else's? That's a question you will ask. And if you feel light, what will you do? You will say, return to sender with consciousness attached. That's what you'll do. Okay. So that's one possibility, right? Like 98% of the time you're picking up feelings, thoughts, emotions of other people other than you. When you ask the question, you feel light. You say, I return it to the sender with consciousness attached. 
and then you got your own awareness back. Okay, so you cleaned it up. Now, what do you do when it does belong to you? It could be yours also, no? Now, I want you to close your eyes and think. Imagine that you are, you know, in the hills and you've gone for a walk and you on the top of a hill and you can see all around you and you see hills and hills and hills all around nature and it's quiet and you are there. Just communion with nature. How would you feel? Just imagine you're doing that and how do you feel? Right? You know why? Because in nature, plants don't have a point of view about you. They don't have a point of view about themselves. Birds don't stop singing because their day is bad, right? Trees don't judge you. So nature is there only to contribute no matter what. So when you're there with nature and you have no points of view of other people to pick up, right? So you don't have to do anything to avoid the judgment of others because they're not judging you. They don't have a point of view. But when you're with people and there are people maybe near you or far away, but they are there in the same city and you're picking up, what are you picking up? You're picking up their points of views. You're picking up their opinions. You're picking up their judgments. And when you do that, what do we do when we are picking up their judgments? We try to change ourselves to avoid their judgment. We try to adapt ourselves to avoid their judgment. We have a tendency to respond to their judgment. Now, when there is no point of view of anyone, when there is no judgment of anyone that you're picking up, then what will happen? Then you can be you, isn't it? So when 98% of the time, 98% of the time you're picking up stuff from other people, are you being you? Can you be you, the real you that you are? No. Now the question is, if I have a choice, I'd rather be me. I don't have to be a parody of me, isn't it? So what needs to change? What if you could be in a space where you are you? If you are you, how would you be, how would that change your life? You're more peaceful. And yeah, and what would it allow you to do in life? What would it allow you to make possible in your life? Be more productive. <clears throat> yeah. And if you were being more productive, what would you produce? Achieve more. And what would you like to achieve? What I desire. Exactly. <laughs> and why not get in touch with your desire and see what is it that you desire that you want to achieve? When you are not being buffeted by the thoughts, feelings, emotions, and points of view of others, and you can be you, and your real power can manifest in this world, what will that make possible? What if you could recover that powerful you that you always were, that you lost? I'll feel so empowered that I could achieve what I dream. Say that again, please. I'll be, I'll feel so empowered that what I desire, I can create it. I can do it. Yeah. And you know, the good news is it's possible. Mm -hmm. So let's look at another part of ourselves, right? Let's look at the part of ourselves called the body. Okay. 
So whatever you are carrying with you, most of it, does it belong to your body? How would you feel if I told you that 50 to 100 percent of what goes on in your body doesn't belong to you either? Your body will tell you everything that's going on with the bodies all around you. Okay. That's interesting, isn't it? So just imagine that if your stomach starts paining, ask a question, is this mine? Somebody else's? Or it belongs to something else? Yeah. So if you're feeling something in your body, a pain or a whatever discomfort or you know, sudden, sometimes we feel very restless. Now you can ask this question, is this mine? Is it someone else's? Or does it belong to something else? Now, if you feel lighter, yeah? When you ask this question, is it something else? And you feel light, then it belongs to the earth. The earth is asking for your assistance. And because we are not very good at listening to the earth, it uses our body to get our attention. So that means earth is asking for your support. Okay. So you can ask, what is it that it requires of you? You can gift your energy to the earth. You can ask to receive whatever the earth is gifting to you. You can do many things. So we have looked at two aspects of this. Who does it belong to? Okay. So let's do a little clearing here. Everything you bought as yours from someone else and have been carrying around forever after, would you please give all that up now? and return it to the sender? Yes? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pork, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Everything you bought as yours from someone else and have been carrying around forever after, would you please give it all up now and let it return to the sender, please? Yes? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pork, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. What energy, space, and consciousness can you and your body be to receive all the information and awareness you're getting with total ease? <laughs> so when your awareness increases and when it is your own awareness, then it gives you possibilities for action. So what energy, space, consciousness can you and your body be? to receive all the information and awareness you are getting with total ease. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. So here is an assignment for all of you, right? And the assignment is that you try this tool out today. So I've given you a very powerful tool and the tool is called, who does this belong to? Is this mine? Yeah. So throughout the day, when anything is coming up, you know, a thought, feeling or emotion or a point of view, just ask this question, who does this belong to? And ask this question a couple of times. Who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? And if you feel light, return it to the sender with consciousness attached. You can even set a reminder on your phone, all right, to remind you to do this after every five or 10 minutes. Now, when you ask who does it belong to for three days, every day, Okay. Just check what will show up. 
and it will lighten you up. Do it three days in a row. And what will happen is that you will become aware of everything. in your life. Okay, so any questions about this? So what do we mean when you say whom does it belong to? Who is this? Vandana, sir. I explained it. You, did you join late? I think you did. Yes, late. sir. Sorry. Thanks, sir. Yeah, yeah. So now I will not answer your question. Okay, sir. Thank you. First <laughs> <laughs> so you come late and then you ask me. Huh? See, what we are saying is that more than 98% of your thoughts, feelings, emotions, and your point of view, you're picking up from others. Right. Okay. I heard that, Anji. You think it's yours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you ask this question, who does it belong to? Is it mine or someone else's? You ask that question a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, if you feel light, in your body, mm -hmm. then you say, I return it to the sender with consciousness attached. Because it's not yours. Huh? So you gave an example like you have a stomach ache or you have any anger or fear, whatever. Yeah, emotion. So it may not be belonging to you, right? Now, so <laughs> let me give you another example. Let's say that you are in the house, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And somebody walks in. Mm -hmm. You know, have you noticed that some people walk into your house, you feel very heavy? Right, right, right. So obviously it's a case of it doesn't belong to you. You're picking it up. Or if you've had little babies in your house, have you noticed they may be in another room, but if the husband and wife they are having some tension between them, okay? Right. They're sulking, you know. They're not they're not even they're fighting. fighting. Or what the baby picks it up and he starts crying. Mm -hmm. The baby's picking it up. Mm -hmm. Animals pick it up. Mm -hmm. Have you not, if you've got a dog, you'll know that whenever you're sad, your dog knows that you're sad. Yeah, very right. Because the animal is picking it up, so are you. Now, okay. can you imagine that more than 98% of the time, Vandana, we are and picking up the thoughts, feelings, uh, points of view, judgments and opinions of the people around you? Very true. See, if each one of us is connected to around 250,000 people. Directly or indirectly, energetic. I'm talking mm -hmm. energetically. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you're picking all that stuff up and you think that that is you, mm -hmm. whereas actually that's not you. Mm -hmm. But because you're getting bombarded with that, you actually start believing that, oh, these are my feelings, these are my thoughts, these are my judgments. They're not yours. Right. So, what are we doing in life? We are being someone else. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how much of pain and angst we are picking up from other people? 99%. So when you are with, like I was sharing with people that when you go and you are in a place where there are very few people, you know, like in the mountains and all. Mountain tops, yeah. Right? <clears throat> and there, there's no one, only the trees are there and the flowers are there and the animals are there. They don't have any point of view. They don't have any judgment. So you're not picking up anything from anywhere and you're feeling so peaceful. Because that's your natural state. Yeah, we become ourselves. Right? Right. Yeah, makes sense. So, when you, are, you might have also noticed that whenever you are being yourself, how more, how much more effective and powerful you are being. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, when we have some very good friends and we know that they don't judge us, how comfortable mm -hmm. and how free we are with our friends. We are so playful and nice yeah. with them. Yeah. You know, there's a totally different person present over there. No? True. And someone we don't like, if we are in their company, how different we become. Yeah, because you see, they may not be saying anything to you. Mm. Even their expression might be neutral. Mm. They might even have a smile on their face. They may be even saying all the nice things to you, but you're picking up the real stuff that's going on in their head, you know. Mm. The vibes and the... Yeah. For your information, for the information of all the people on this call, that neuroscientists have found out that we have something in our head which are called the mirror neurons. Mm -hmm. 
mirror neuron right so you have mirror neurons people have mirror neurons so whatever mm. they are thinking their neurons are firing accordingly and your neurons are picking it up mm -hmm. so there's a very solid scientific validity to it see in the energetic domain we are all completely connected there is no you there is no me so i'm picking up a whole lot of stuff from everywhere Mm. Uh, so uh, let's say in a in a situation someone's uh, angry at us and just shouting gaslighting us and if we don't pick up is that a good thing sir when we are aware <coughs> so what are you asking is it good if we don't pick it up or is it good if we pick it up ha uh, uh, let's say uh, the the mirroring neuron does it doesn't work is it if someone is aware in the similar situation and if they don't pick that up is that a better thing i'm asking sir no i'm not clear what you're asking is it good if you don't pick it up or is it good if you pick it up what is the uh, question if i don't pick it up yeah but you are going to pick it up right oh because see. we pick it up that's how we are so what do you do when the moment you ask this question who does it belong to mm. and if you feel light then you know it does not belong to you na mm. so at that moment you say return to the sender with consciousness attached mm hmm hmm yeah i'll give you an example uh, you know um, sai when we are with let's say we are with some aunties and uncles all right hmm and we know that they you know that they even if they are not saying anything their disapproval is uh, getting transmitted to you so mm -hmm. how do you feel in their presence uh feeling strained sir yeah it feels it doesn't feel nice right so that's the time you know it doesn't belong to you that's their opinion that's their point of view that's what they are thinking but we buy it we take mm -hmm. it so we start feeling bad isn't it Mm -hmm. we start reacting to that so mm -hmm. instead of doing that if you just ask this question hey who does this belong to is it mine or someone else's mm -hmm. immediately if you feel light then it's not yours mm -hmm. you return it to the sender with consciousness attached yeah it's your opinion you keep it na i don't want mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you don't have to say the words to them energetically mm -hmm. you say return to the sender with consciousness attached boom Mm hmm mm hmm. So there it is, back, and you'll feel better immediately after that. Mm hmm mm hmm. See, the thing is, people say, "Na, words have power over you." Why do words have power over you? Because they're saying something. You're listening to it. You're accepting what they say. Then mm -hmm. that makes you feel upset. Mm. If they say some words, you say, "Okay, you keep saying what you want." Blah blah blah. Then will it bother you? no sir so similarly when people are sending out these signals you know hmm and the interesting part is that people seem to also know when it's affecting you mm hmm and they do more exactly the moment they know it's affecting you <laughs> like you know when you are in school and all other children will tease us correct hmm and if you get teased they'll do more hmm and if you are thick skin and you also start teasing you know and say ah yeah go ahead go ahead do it do it after some time they stop hmm so they say what the hell nothing is it's not affecting this guy so what's the point doing it hmm i still remember when i joined college first year you know we were in the hostel a lot of very horrible ragging used to happen okay mm hmm so one of the seniors who was very well known to our family he told me listen you be like a besharam don't show that you're getting upset by it then they'll not tease you if they ask mm. you to do something you volunteer to do it okay i was not able to do that okay so i really had a rough time of it but there was another one of our classmates that guy was like besharam they would tell him to do something he would do it 10 times you know mm. and he would be enjoying it at least he was showing that he's enjoying it Hmm. So after some time those raggers they got bored yeah isko bhamba nahi ko chodo yaar this bugger na it doesn't affect him the bloody patient hmm. so leave it so they hmm. were getting pleasure out of tormenting someone who's getting tormented right hmm 
Mm-hmm. So when you keep picking up this stuff and you know there are some people deliberately like the gaslighters of this world. Mm. You are asking, no? Mm-hmm. Gaslighting works if you let it work, no? Exactly. And the moment uh, we are aware that it's just gaslighting, it doesn't... <laughs> yeah, so you just say return to the center with consciousness and ash. I mean, just imagine mm. the plight of someone who is living with a person who is gaslighting them all the time. Right? Mm. Gaslighting, for those who don't know, is ki someone who is always putting you down. You know? Mm. There's even a very famous movie, uh, it's called Gaslighting, very old movie, 1947 movie, right? Where mm-hmm. the husband is gaslighting so much that he makes his wife believe that she's mad. Mm-hmm. Bombarding with negativity and, you know, putting doubt in their head and making them mm-hmm. feel. Now, all that is successful only because we allow it to affect us, right? In your mind, if you're saying, hey, listen, I return it to you with consciousness that I have it doesn't belong to mm, 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 your mm. opinion. You keep it. Mm-hmm. So that reminds me to tell you about another tool, especially you know when people are criticizing you. See, there is one thing called giving, you know, feedback to empower you, right? The purpose of that feedback is to help you mm. to become better, right? So there's nothing wrong with it. On the other hand. In the disguise of feedback, a lot of people will criticize you to humiliate you. Does it happen sometimes? Instead of saying to you, okay, okay this is, uh, there is a better way to do it, please do it. They'll say, is All this the, the time, Subhi- useless solo? Yes, Subhi- Subhi- all the time. To you. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Uh, no, sir. Kacha, uh, I think you are not able to hear me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Means you are not able to hear me or you are able to hear me. So you are saying yes, sir, for what? <laughs> no, sir. I couldn't hear. After, you know, people <laughs> give us a constructive feedback and uh, after that I lost it, sir. And there are some people who are criticizing you in order to humiliate you and to make you feel small. Isn't it? And sometimes yes, yes. people's way of talking only is like that. It makes you feel that they are only trying to humiliate you. But if you talk to those people, they'll say, no, no, I am only actually genuinely trying to help you, you know. And maybe they are. Are you getting it? But the end result is you are getting affected negatively. So what should you do in a situation like that? One is in your mind, you can say, all right, it, it doesn't belong to me. It's just, What can you say to that person? You can say to that person, thank you. That's a very interesting point of view. And I get it that you have this interesting point of view. Thank you for sharing Mm. your point of view with me. Now will it affect you? Because Mm. you are making sure to even yourself but this is his point of view. He's only communicating his point of view. I don't have to accept that point of view. I don't have to be influenced by by his point of view. But I know that this is his point of view and I got it. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Now you can say like, oh, wow, that's what very interesting point of view. Thank you very Mm -hmm. much for sharing that. Mm -hmm. Now, if a person is deliberately trying to humiliate you, Mm -hmm. he'll stop. He'll say, okay, what's the point? This guy is not getting humiliated. Mm -hmm. If he's trying to make you feel small, it's not working. No, you're saying, wow, thank you so much for your gift of your feedback. Mm. That's another way of looking at things that I've realized today. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your wonderful point of view. And it's really interesting that you have this point of view. Wow. Mm. That will even make him think, this is my point of view. Mm -hmm. It's not the reality that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Got it? So use this wonderful tool called who does this belong to? A lot of us, we live with this doom and gloom so much that even shows on our face. Have you met people like that? Their face also looks gloomy. For them, it's a big effort to smile on. Not you, Konen. 
तुम्हारा तो होता था वो चला गया अभी कैन आई इंटर कैन कैन आई इंटर हियर यस यू कैन इंटरजेक्ट इंटरजेक्ट ओके नहीं आई हैव नॉट बीन एबल टू ट्रांसमिट माय थॉट्स टू यू टू आस्क मी क्वेश्चन जस्ट हैव टू रेज योर वन बट दैट इज दैट इज इन अ लाइटर मोड बट इन इन प्रैक्टिकल लाइफ प्रैक्टिकल लाइफ द इन अ फैमिली Uh, i am not asking some uh, the critical point i am asking real thing which happen in the family either it is finance or the health why issues which are even and at as a senior person i do in by the points of वीडियो मे बी वी कैन हियर इट बेटर Yeah, he's again connecting or something like. That. Yes, Ashok ji, you can speak now. Please unmute. Ashok ji, you are muted. Give him some time to connect. Uh, by the way, sir, there's a quick question. Yeah. uh okay hello good yes yeah. is it clear now yes please go ahead thank can you hear now yes yes, yes. yeah okay good me yeah uh jokingly i was trying to tell you that i am transmitting some thoughts so that you can ask me question but i couldn't tra transmit that through the uh, ipad anyway that is the separate point you know in a family in a family at senior the questions and the interferers are different at different ages at my age basically it is either financial of the family or my physical health transmitting to the family how how do we become sthita pradnya where we do not get we do not if affect people in the house or we do not get affected by their thoughts the one of the examples which you had given of corona everybody in the family was worried everybody in the family was worried and depending on the sensitivity of every person there were the layers of who got affected most the children because they don't they did not know the bad part of it they were not affected right but we see we seniors were made to believe that we are the one who has been targeted by the corona and we should be the most careful don't go out don't do this don't even if you touch the handle of the main door it was so hands so we were supposed to be washed and that handle was supposed to be sanitized chappals every minute clothes you come home you go straight to the bathroom take out the clothes so that fear psychosis which was set in and everybody was looking are you to theek hai na ki uski tabiyat kharab hai usko haath nahi laga uske paas nahi nahi jao what is the safe distance which that psychosis which was created really depressed many many of us senior citizens that looks it looks like that i am going to be the victim of this keeping keeping that now now the thoughts which are going in the mind of a senior citizen like me i don't want them those thoughts to be transmitted to my children or the family how do we how do we insulate ourselves from okay. transmitting the thoughts yeah so that's what happens when you come late i had explained it 
but i'll explain it for you again see when we are picking up all this negativity no i am not i am I, i don't want to pass my negativity to them listen that bata raha so what you do is first of all that is not necessarily your own negativity you are also 98% are picking up from others okay so the question you will ask yourself is who does it belong to it it, it belong to me i was scared are yaar what you will always feel that it belongs to you when you are scared okay so yeah. i am saying whenever you feel like that you ask this question who does it belong to belong to okay mine or somebody else's now 90% of the time you will find that when you ask that question a few times you will feel lighter okay so when you feel lighter then you know it's not yours so you say return to sender with consciousness yeah, okay. so so it's not no. belonging only to your family you may be picking up from 2 lakh 50000 people sure so now when you feel lighter then you it means it was not mine then people around you will not be affected by your negativity na yeah so that's what you have to do keep asking this question who does it belong to so If ownership I... ownership of good or bad thought to be ha mera nahi hai main leke chal raha hu logon ka leke leke chal raha hu baggage baggage 90%, i am carrying 98% of the thoughts feelings opinions judgments fears that other i am picking up and i think that that's mine yes you can we start resonating with that na yes, so when sir. you ask this question aap 3 din ke liye try kare after every 10 or 15 minutes you just ask this question to yourself who does it belong to is it mine or somebody else's personally personally i have experienced many times that maybe let us say i am under extremely tension and i just don't know what's happening exactly and suddenly suddenly you find that it's bright sunshine and the thoughts are gone and you are clear you are energetic it has happened it has happened many times it has happened sure so then we have let go of other people's uh, this one that's why you right but that, so you but that, that used to happen involuntarily ke are chodo na apne ko kya karna hai jaane do and okay but i have experienced this experience now we can do it consciously yeah now we can do it consciously right, so you keep asking this question many times in a day who does it belong to who does it belong to if you feel lighter immediately say return to sender with consciousness attached bhai tumhara hai tum rakho and you will feel more powerful more energetic because now your thoughts and awareness is not clouded by the awareness of others ji aapne ek bola maine aapko question transmit kiya nahi hai वो इसीलिए नहीं आया बिकॉज वेन आई एम ऑल ऑफ अस आर बम्बार्डेड बाई द अवेयरनेस थाउजेंड ऑफ पीपल्स अवेयरनेस इन योर वन मोर अवेयरनेस इज कमिंग आई विल नॉट पिक इट अप नैन आई रिलीज ऑल दैट देन आई बी एबल टू पिक अप और अक्सर होता है हम किसी के बारे में सोचते हैं उसका फोन आ जाता है ये भी होता है good thank you so much ashok ji for asking that question all right anybody else so the tool i have already shared with you please use this tool and before we close i want to do the clearing with you once again i want to use this clearing listen to it everything you bought as yours from someone else and have been carrying around forever would you please give up all that now and return it to the sender yes right and wrong good and bad pot and pop all nine shots boys and beyonds everything you bought as yours from someone else and have been carrying around forever after would you please give all that up now and return it to the sender right and wrong good and bad pot and pop all nine shots boys and beyonds what energy space and consciousness can you and your body be to receive all the information awareness you are getting with total ease right and wrong good and bad pot and pop all nine shots boys and beyonds everything that creates the belief listen to this everything that creates the belief that your body is a limitation on your consciousness will you destroy and uncreate it please yes 
right and wrong, good and bad, poor and poor, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. How many pains, stiffness or checkouts do you currently have in your body that are actually from the earth or the people on it demanding or requiring your assistance? Everything that allows that to stay stuck, will you destroy and uncreate it all and let it go now? See? Yes? Right and wrong, good and bad, port and pop, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So on that with a sense of relief. I invite you to step into this wonderful new day today and have a wonderful day. And make this a wonderful day for all the people in your life. So good morning. So make it a great morning, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for being there. Uh, yes, Kunen. Just a quick question, sir. Uh, now, after this session, I will go out my work and other people and all. Now, uh, there'll be always a constant energy and thoughts, emotions of others. So uh, where shall I put my attention so that I don't, or is it possible to avoid getting this uh, 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 energy, thoughts and emotion of others by changing my attention to somewhere else? Sir? No, but I've given you the tool and I explained it three times. I'll explain it one more time. So right. after every 10 or 15 minutes, after every 10 or 15 minutes, you ask this question, who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? Is it mine or someone else's? If you feel lighter, then you say return to sender with consciousness attached. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay, got it. After Thank every you. 10 or 15 minutes, who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? Is it mine or someone else's? If you feel light, just say, return to sender with consciousness attached. So you do this for the next three days. And do it as often as you can. Yeah, got it. Thank you. Sir. Whatever you're doing. Right? You will find that your awareness will be much higher when you do this. Got it. Thank you for the question. So it's a good revision for everybody because you asked that question. Great. Anybody else? Sir, can you put this clearing in the group, sir? The wordings. And we've done the clearing, right? Did you yeah, see? Did you see the group yesterday? Gopal, did you see the group yesterday? I uh, know. I did see. You should see. I'll do that. Because what's the point of saying put the clearing in the group when you don't look at the group? I put okay. the clearing yesterday. Sorry. I even recorded a video, I mean an audio for you guys. Right, sir. Right, sir. I'll, I'll see that. I will do that today also, don't worry. But the no, point is you'll have to go to the group and look at it, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do that. I phone karke remind you. I'll be here today. I'll be here today. I'll be here today. What time will you come? Pata nahi, main aapko Before lunch, I'll be here. Okay, most welcome. Yeah, na. But I'll okay. phone you. Okay. All right, sir. I'll wait for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Anybody else, anything you'd like to say, anything you'd like to ask? Now we've got yes. 10 minutes for you to ask any questions about anything you want. I have one question, sir. Quick question. Yes, sir. Uh, Energetically connection uh, through uh, through this platform, digital platform, uh, is it possible and how effective it is? Sir? I'm actually, can you repeat the question? I didn't quite understand it. Uh, like, as you mentioned, we get the thoughts, emotion, energy of other human beings when they're around of a specific- so Even if they're not around, they may be 50 miles away also. Okay. And especially if you're living in a crowded city, how many people are there yeah, which you're picking up? Yeah. So is and it then, also possible to pick uh, if we are connected through digital platform like this? I don't know really. Maybe wherever you're connected. See, I know one thing. We are energetically connected with around 250,000 people. Correct. 
so we are definitely going to pick up from them whether you are on the digital platform or not what happens is that when you are conscious about someone then there is a better connection with them so you will pick up more from them naturally <coughs> got it thank you sir got it asking something after that abhinav we will do yes sir thank you good morning sir morning yeah uh, when we are if there are some if we pick up the positive vibes from others maybe the constructive feedback of positive vibes then we don't have to give that back right only the negative things what but we why why you need anything from anyone of course if it's feeling good you keep it if you want to okay right then right. you are not feeling uncomfortable na ah uh, right sir yeah but as a, it's a good practice to ask this every 5 10 minutes yeah so in the in it? the clearing statement why as it in the clearing statement we are saying you know we written all the things to the yeah. sender awareness sir So Correct. instead, can we say all the bad things or no negative things? No, you don't judge. Bad, okay. bad and good is judging, na. See, <laughs> right. See, to limit the receiving, na, KP. Okay. So a lot of times, a lot of stuff will come inside. So when you put armor, nothing can come inside, na. Mm hmm. We don't want that to happen, right? Okay. Good question. And, Thank you so much. And we are sending back to the sender, poor guy. Is it mm -hmm. is it better to sending it back to the universe? send it back to the sender with consciousness attached na no? it's going back with consciousness attached okay so to okay. we'll make things better for him okay okay you can send Thanks. it to the universe also it's up to you There's sir no... i re uh, i remember yeah. one Thanks, thing one minute one minute abhinav kya bari hai uske baad mein geet ka bari hai abhinav go ahead it has to be but my question is so there are people in in our life who are no more can you pick up their energies also yes okay okay got it sir. thanks sir shall i shall i come in that is one one yeah, uh, geet had asked was asking something before that geet were you asking something yes sir i was telling something when we were kids and uh, is if somebody used to say something to us something bad we used to say back to you with no returns <laughs> yeah so it reminded me of that all that exercise today yes yes <laughs> i also remembered it when you said it thanks yes malika ji uh sir uh, uh, i was into one uh, uh, guru follower of one guru vedatri magrishi he used to say uh, say uh, live with abundance see see when you feel there is uh, some somebody is throwing some negative that time also always say live with abundance there is varha valamudan in tamil uh, the meaning is live with abundance so uh, by while you say this whatever they say negative will go like a ball on the wall it will uh, it will bounce back uh, to them but it will not affect you but when you say this live with abundance they also will get the positive feel and you also will get the positive feels meaning that you are receiving the abundance or the positiveness from the uh, universe that is what it uh, this one i am practicing this for you the do. past 20 years i am doing uh, whenever yeah. i feel good or bad both both the time i used to tell this uh, uh, word varhavalamudan so now you so understand when, malika ji that's why i say every experience is an opportunity to become a better version of ourselves everything whatever anybody is sending you is an opportunity to become a better version of ourselves so everything yes. that somebody is giving is a gift only you know so very good point your yes. good also saying a very yes simple. sir i do sir i agree sir that's that's great. that's Friends. a great thing what you are telling you are you are recalling and uh, whenever i am attending your session i feel that i am in the right track that's what i could feel <laughs> thank you so much ma'am you all all of you are coming and enriching all of us right you are in the right place malika ji yeah all of you are in the right place yeah. we are all contributing to one another remember the purpose of a relationship is to yeah. support each other <laughs> to empower each other and to make each other stronger 
So this is that we have to all. Yes, true. And moreover, when I do this uh, archiving, archiving your sessions, I'm getting more and more energized with your sessions. So wow. I'm thought of having continuously. I'm listening that. <laughs> thank That's you so much, sir. Thank you so much. And a very big thank you to all of you people who no. are volunteering yourself for this. Yeah, actually, one more I want to tell. There is uh, there is a phrase in Tamil, "Karmba tinna kuliya," means uh, for eating sugar cane, getting a salary for uh, eating the sugar cane. So yeah. that's what is. Uh, i'm doing this it's a really a wonderful wonderful i am really it's a wonderful each and every session is a book sir thank, thank you sir thank you so much that empowers me to do more sir kuldeep sir ke liye ek request aayi hai ha kuldeep sir bade dino ke baad aaj nazar aaye kuldeep ji how about a share from you itne dino ke baad hamare sher saab wapas aaye hain are you all right <laughs> yeah वो बोल ही नहीं रहे ही हैड सम कोल्ड सर दैट्स ऑल देयर इज गुड मॉर्निंग कुलदीप जी प्लीज अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ साक्षी जी व्हाट मलिका जी सेड वाज दैट यू ईट द शुगर केन एंड यू गेट पेड फॉर इट आल्सो दैट्स व्हाट इट मींस so what archiving work she is doing she is she, she is comparing it to eating a, a sugar cane and getting paid for it yes kuldeep ji we are waiting for you to say something to us rumbu tinna kuli varum viruma theek hai ye wohi hai okay okay so kuldeep ji is not saying anything so we have missed your share uh, uh, kunen so how about a share today and then maybe kuldeep ji also get inspired to say a share and then we say bye bye we've got exactly 3 minutes to do this please okay ek share jo yaad aa raha hai aap sabhi logo ki nazar uh गीत मैम के लिए मलिका मैम के लिए कि छू जाते हो कितनी दफा तुम खाब बनकर वाह 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 छू जाते हो कितनी दफा तुम खाब बनकर कौन कहता है कि दूर रहकर मुलाकातें नहीं होती वाह 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 बाल चे वाह 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 बाल चे इसका गुड आप प्लीज ग्रुप में भी डाल दीजिए यस जी फर्स्ट यू रिकॉर्डेड इन योर वॉइस Right? Can you record the translation in also in your voice? Can you please put it over there? Kuldeep sir is back, sir. Okay, Kuldeep ji, we are waiting with bated breath for you to speak your share. And it's good to see you back, Kuldeep ji. Okay, there seems to be some technological problem over there. so time for me to close the session guys thank you very much so have a real explosive wonderful energetic energized happy fruitful day full of blessings and joy and let all of life come to you with ease joy and glory see you tomorrow morning stay safe stay healthy